Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DrawerMotorX.com. Today I have some very exciting news for you. As you guys probably saw on Twitter, the Firewater Devs Twitter account did tweet out that Bopes had achieved S off on the M8. Now, I've been waiting since then for the release as well as you guys have probably been waiting on pins and needles, hoping that it would drop any minute and it finally dropped this afternoon. I actually ran across town so that I can make this video for you guys. Uh, so that everybody can have S off. S off on the M7 was a two for one. And not only did it give us S off on the M7, but also an unlocked bootloader. I'm hoping for that here, but they didn't tell us anything uh, in relation to that. So I guess we'll see when we're finished. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have USB debugging enabled. So go into settings, developer options, and make sure that USB debugging is enabled. If you don't have developer options, you'll go into about, software information, and you'll click on the software number until you get developer options. So then we'll go ahead and plug in our USB cable. You'll need to make sure that ADB is installed on your PC or MacBook. I released a MacBook tutorial yesterday and um, I'll be sure to link you guys to a tutorial for Windows as well. I didn't have a chance to make a tutorial for that, uh, but it's just as simple as the Mac version. Okay, so you want to go to the Firewater s -off website. Okay, the first thing we want to do is ensure the device is booted to Android with USB debugging enabled. We'll ensure that the lock screen security is disabled on our device. No passcode lock, pattern lock, or face lock. Then you'll want to download the Firewater and be sure to put that in your ADB folder. Okay, also you want to make sure that you are rooted with the weak sauce root. And then we'll just copy and paste these commands into terminal. So the first one is ADB reboot. Okay, once your phone is rebooted, we will copy and paste uh, the push command that, that's going to push the file onto your device. So we'll just copy that and paste that into terminal. Okay, you'll enter that to push the file to your device. Okay, once the file is pushed to your device, we're going to open up an ADB shell. So we'll copy and paste ADB shell. Okay, and then we will uh, do the chmod command. So copy and paste the chmod command into terminal. Okay, then we'll give it root access. So we'll type su. Okay, once we have root access, uh, also be sure to enable root access or grant root permissions on your device. The message will pop up on your device, so go ahead and grant permission on your device. And then the last thing that we'll do is run the Firewater script. So that's going to go ahead and begin the script. You'll want to read the warning here. Uh, basically, they're not responsible for anything that you do to your device. And then you'll type in yes with a capital Y. And once you type it in with a capital Y, it will begin the Firewater process. It took me several tries to get it right. Uh, so you'll probably, you may have to do it one or more times. Um, the first time I did it, it ran through the process and said that it was uh, cracking open a drink. And it, like I said, it did it several times and it failed several times and I had to redo it. So just be persistent with it. If it doesn't work the first time, just keep trying. So I'll just kind of let you see what it says here and let you see kind of what it looks like before we move on to the second part of this. Also, be sure that you do not touch your device in any way. Don't turn the screen back on. Don't touch it. It will stop the process and you'll have to start over. So see, it said here that it was chugging and it didn't like this. So it said it needed a chaser and it didn't like that. So it said it needed a chaser and then it said it was just too nasty and it would have to, uh, we'd have to try again later. So we'll go ahead and go on to the next part. Okay, so... All right, finally I have S off. I did have to run this exploit like five times before it finally said device is now S off. Don't forget to send us all your money. And then of course you really will want to uh, send a donation. I sent $30 for the weak sauce temp root and I'll probably send something for this. Uh, so what we'll do now is we will reboot to bootloader. ADB reboot bootloader. And there you have it. Now we have an unlocked S off HTC One Verizon M8. Big shout-outs to Bopes and the Firewater development team for putting this together. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at drawermonarchs.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.